I'm just going to give you a video of this Mila Classic C1 Junior vacuum. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove and have a look at all the contents. Look at all the contents, which all look and feel good quality. I've assembled the Uber, which was nice and easy, as each piece simply clicks and locks together with ease. And head, you've got your usual brush extender to release the brush down. Then if you spin it like this, you've got another part that can be taken off if you don't want it. It's an accessory holder, so you can put a bit in there to, so it's easy to hand. You've got your main sections, obviously, as I said before, all click into one another. So just push the little lever in and they all pull apart nice and easy. The top main part of the handle is your inlet valve, air valve, so you can reduce the actual suction power by opening that up. So what I'll do now is have a look at the main unit and show you what's on the actual accessory holder attached to the hose, which holds your three other accessories, your no crevice nozzle, your upholstery head and your brush head. And then I'll turn it around like this. In the back, you've got your regulating suction power. So left with all your different symbols from curtains right the way around to full suction power. It's for carpets. You got your on and off button, and you got your cable retraction, which cable touched nice and away right inside. So just pull that out a little bit, just the button comes in nice and easy. I turn it around again, like so, and just push that up, and it opens up where you can get to the bag, and you've got all your different filters in here. So it's nice and easy. Get two, clips down. Nice and solid. The actual unit itself is nice and lightweight, easy to carry. You've got your three wheels rotate 360 degrees, so it's easy to manoeuvre. So what I'll do now is I'll power it on and see how it performs. I'll put on the lowest power, suction power first, because this is a thick pile carpet, so turn it on. So on the lowest power, noise reach. Quite quiet as it comes. Take some maneuver and allow the suction. It opens up the car with the carpet. Nice. So, this is good. So, that's good. Yeah. So, what I'll try and do is I'll put it to halfway in the suction power. Next, it's going to half the suction power. So it's really looking the uh, carpet pole now. To be honest, yeah, I wouldn't go that far on this because I wouldn't be able to, to manoeuvre the actual mover. If I, if I put this on full power, I wouldn't be able to manoeuvre the room there. I've done it on half power of the actual suction. I did try and put it on full power, but I just wasn't able to push the actual hoover forward. So on this particular like thick pile carpet, so, as you can see, it's lifted the actual pile. Everything looks nice and tidy. Got around this way. I've used the upholstery accessory as well on the on the, the edge of the bed as well. All the way around here. Yeah, as I say, nice and easy to use. The suction power is good. As I say, I'm I'm glad it's got obviously adjustable suction power, so it suits your it suits your obviously task and your preference what you'll be trying to do so i hope you found this helpful